Hey, anybody with me? Let's see if anybody is going to jump on and join me this morning. Well, it's not really morning anymore, is it? Because it is 1230. Hey, Chris. Let's see. Well, for anybody who's going to jump on and do the replay i am zoe with chestnut hills farmstead and i have decided to do this a little more often to go live with you guys during the day while i am prepping for our dinner i mean i'm gonna do it anyway so i might as well just hang out with you guys so maybe somebody will like something i'm cooking and decide to do it themselves if not you're just hanging out with me and i enjoy the I enjoy the conversation. Hey, Miss Martha. So what we are going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and turn on my pot of water so I can. I might have already. I did not. I'm going to turn on pot of water and let my water get to boiling so we can boil some noodles. Hey, Karen and Christina and Misty. So I am, let's see, the other day when I went live, had no clue, but my, my YouTube was not connected. So I knew I didn't have very many people on, and that was because none of my YouTube people were on here because they didn't know about it because it never connected with my platform that I use. <sighs> So I ended up going back and posting it as a after live. So I just shared my live on there so you guys could watch it if you were interested. But we are going to be doing what I've seen it called as red and white penny penne pasta. Very simple. You can do it without meat, but we go ahead and we add meat to everything. Um Having meat. Oh, goodness. I hate that, Christina. Hey, Ursula. So, we are going to, we always add meat to everything we do. So, our pasta has meat because it is a meal all in one. It's a casserole pasta dish. And I will go back and I will add um, garlic bread tonight when we, when we do dinner. So what we're going to do is we're going to brown hamburger meat. I always use two pounds. No matter what I make, I use two pounds of meat because we have a large family and we usually eat it for two meals. I'm doing, and we like, we like meaty, meaty meals. Um, I'm going to do a pound of penne pasta. I'm going to boil that while I ground my beef. When we get done with that, we will drain the pasta. I'm going to put it back in the pot. I'm going to mix it with Alfredo sauce. I'm going to brown my meat and then I'll mix it with spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce. Alfredo sauce. And then we will combine them both together. Now, you can... I've seen so many variations. Thanks, MC. I've seen so many variations where you put your noodles down, then you put some sauce, and then you put the other sauce, and you put noodles. But I feel like some of the noodles will not get sauced as well. And so I am going to mix it all together. We're going to do a big old mixture, pour it in, top it with some mozzarella and maybe a little bit of cheddar, and then we'll bake it. But um, the layering sounds great. I bet it. I bet it's just as good. But I'm not. I'm not doing that because I want quick. I don't want to have to take the time to go through and layer everything. And I'm not doing that. We're gonna cook. 
noodles cook meat mix sauces noodles and meat together pour it in the casserole dish put some cheese on top and bake it that's that's our plan quick and easy family friendly kid friendly heat up some garlic bread we're done when i bake i don't cook noodles first Ooh. That worries me, though. How long would you cook it if you don't cook the noodles first, Christina? Because that would save an extra step and extra pot that I don't have to clean. You know, we're all about it. So, I also have my friend Megan, who is my best friend. She um, makes all of our cups and, and such. She... Um, gave me a bunch of overripe bananas, so I have banana bread in the oven, and I'll probably bake some more later. Um, today, I want to try coconut banana bread, and I want to do a banana coffee crumb cake, but I have just a standard banana bread. I don't have any walnuts, didn't have any. I wasn't going to buy anything, so if you see those posted for sale later, just know they're fresh because it's in the oven right now because Nick don't eat bananas. So we don't usually, we don't typically have any kind of banana anything in our house. She says, maybe 20 minutes. Most noodles only take nine minutes boiling, cooking, and sauce maybe 15. I like that because that would just eliminate, you know, like 10 minutes of the time. Hmm. Because the sauce will get hot enough to to cook the noodles, right? Huh. Okay. All right. So while y'all keep talking to me, hey, let me see. Would anybody is anybody? Let me see instructions. I wonder. I am. Okay, so I was looking at some stuff. Hey, Miss Dawn. Christina used to work 12 hour shifts. She'd come home, cook, and then take the dogs to the dog park. Yeah, very limited time. That, hey, I kind of like that. I might try that when I'm not live, and that way I can. I don't have a big flop on screen. Okay, I'm going to cook some hamburger meat while I'm talking to you. So I'll keep checking, but y'all keep talking to me. Tell me what you're doing today. It's so rainy here. It's raining. We have a 100% chance of rain today. Like, yeah, it's really, really gross. So I'm going to cook some hamburger meat while, while we keep talking. So don't, don't. Run off on me. I'm going to try and scoot my computer a little closer, though. Get all my drinks out of the way here. Yay, it's about time you caught me live, Dawn. No, Nick, I am not just on Facebook. I'm on YouTube as well. Christina's waiting for it to hit 50 degrees so she can walk her dogs. Miss Dawn's got a huge stock pot of chicken broth going to slow cook all day long. She's making fish chowder tomorrow. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. What, Rhea? He's digging a tunnel for his dad. Oh, my goodness. 
Negative 50. Miss Dawn said it's going to be negative 50 there. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, it's 50 degrees here, and we were bundled up this morning. Green chili enchiladas. See, I want to make enchiladas. I really want to try that. Um, I just really don't know where to start. Um, I always cheat. I buy frozen burritos. I make a burrito bake. I guess it's kind of similar to enchiladas. I'm all about doing quick meals. Unless we're cooking with fresh, you know. But a, another one I like to do is frozen burritos. You pour enchilada sauce over them. And top them with some cheese and bake them. Oh my goodness. All right, so we've got some boiling water already. Miss Dawn, is, aka Main Nana Bear, she's keeping her kids home from school tomorrow because frostbite and hypothermia isn't a joke. That's terrible. I, my goodness, I couldn't imagine. Most of you already know this, but when you salt your water, you're supposed to salt it like you're salting the ocean. I learned that on one of these cooking shows one day. I thought that was kind of a good reference. That means salt it a lot. Nine minutes needs to go on my clock because I have banana bread in the oven taking up my my time. That's my calculator. That was not my clock. Time. Let's go nine. Actually, let's yes nine. Okay, go find it. You want to tell everybody hello? Come here a second. Okay, you don't. That's fine. Go I ahead. Like to, I want to surprise. Oh. He wants to go to the Dollar Tree and get a surprise after a while when he, for being good. Christina said it's super easy. You prep the filling, roll into tortillas, fry corn tortillas first for best flavor, or use a microwave tortilla warmer to make them pliable. Add sauce and cheese. Hmm. But if you fry them, will they be crunchy before you use them? Will I do your pants? I sure will. Mom, don't, don't let them look. Okay, nobody can see. All they see is your face. Hey. <laughs> Miss Dawn said an out state Department of Education leaves it up to the individual school districts to close for the day. Well, here they don't like to do that because they will have to go longer in the summer. Well, they would just have to... My kids will just be unexcused because we're not going to risk health things for points at school. Hey, Miss Julie. I haven't seen you on here lately. I'm glad to see you. Miss Ursula made new fudge. Caramel with pecans covered with pecans and caramel covered with chocolate. That sounds delicious. I love anything caramel. And roasted pecans. Mmm. Fry. Okay. So you don't fry on that one. Okay. I might try it. I'll have to watch find me a YouTube video and watch it to see how uh to see how that goes.
Miss Maggie says she's going to bring the coffee, Ursula. <laughs> We can all just meet. We'll just all meet at Miss Ursula's house and she'll fix us all some fudge. Oh, yay, Julie. I saw that. I saw where you said you had a new grandbaby. And I probably did not respond because I'm terrible about it. But I did see that you had a new grandbaby born, I think, the same week of my birthday. Yeah, yeah, Christina, you definitely need to make caramel cake. Mmm, that sounds really good, actually. You know, you could use coffee in your caramel cake without, instead of any kind of water. I don't know what kind of your cake mix is, but I like to use, I definitely use coffee when I make chocolate cake. Um, because it just makes the flavor a lot richer. Anchorage, Alaska is a long way to get, that is, yes, that is a long way. That is a, a, a long way. Maggie, if you're going to hang out with me, you're going to be hungry all the time. Because I ain't got Nick here to reel me in. Nick likes to reel me in on my food talking. But that's what we do when we meet live during the day. We're going to talk about food and we're going to be in the kitchen and we're going to just hang out. MC said the school district there has taken away one day off spring break for makeup days already. See, we don't we don't have that issue. Um, we close down when we're going to get tornado weather. And that's typically an afternoon. So we actually don't have to make those up because, you know, after a certain time of the day, it's considered a full day at 11 o'clock. After that, you're already considered there for a full day. Okay, we got we got So I don't know if you guys saw on my Facebook. I think I posted on YouTube too the cookies I made yesterday. So this weekend, I don't know if you guys watch. We've told you about her several times before. Um, May May made it. She is a crafting channel. She's huge on in the Facebook and the and more in the YouTube world. Um, she is local to us here. And she has a huge heart for our community and all. And so she wanted to get with me and do a collaboration of our Valentine cookie boxes that I'm doing. And so I cut off my cookie box dates for yesterday. Yesterday was the last day to order them. But with May May, tonight she has a craft video going out of her using my cookie box and decorating cookies and showing people another way to utilize the, the cookie box. And so I have a special code for her people that's going to allow them to order Valentine boxes for me um, for over the weekend. So I got to tinkering around with my sugar cookie dough and I had a little bit left. It wasn't much to do. So I said, well, let me just roll some out. I want to stamp some cookies. I didn't want Valentine's or anything just for ourselves. So I found some that had scalloped edges. It's squares. No, it might be circle. Scalloped edges. Well, then I got to tinkering. I love mixing colors and I'm not real strong on my piping. So I do a lot of repetitive piping methods. So we, um, 
yesterday. I just took a little time and mixed up some icing and kept changing out my piping tips and my colors. And I don't know if you guys saw them, but let me show you what I played around with and had. So, let me turn this off. There we go. It's got some pinks and some purples and blue and white with the sugar cookie base. And it just turned out really pretty. And I did all kind of different uh, swirls and such. So I thought that was pretty cool. I am reading y'all's conversation. I'm following along with you. I just wanted to share that with you. Time to dump some noodles. Let's see. The key to piping is muscle control in your hand. I used to teach cake decorating for a... Let me turn my light back on. Used to teach cake decorating for adult education. Just practice... And the texture of frosting is key as well. Yes, so that's one of my biggest things is me being shipping icing. I wanted something that was going to be good and firm and still be pliable. And so I found that one. It, it's fabulous at room temperature and it gets a little firm at... Um, it's, it gets a little firm in the refrigerator. I got to dump my noodles. noodles. We got our noodles. So a lazy enchilada casserole is a package of corn tortillas. I gotta save this. Huh. Well, that's a good idea too. I'm gonna have to I need to save that so I can come back and write all that down. Let me uh, take a picture of that. Got it. So now I'll know. <laughs> so now I can uh, go back and look at it. Thank you, Maggie, for loving the colors. You can get a decorating book, photocopy the page, and put clear wrap over it and do it over and over. Oh, that's such a good idea. I didn't even think about that. See, I hear you, Christina. My thing is, my thing is, I can't draw. So doing all this fancy drawing with your hands and all, I can't do that. I can make, I can do repetitive motions. I can make a cake taste good. But I'm not an artist where I can put it on the cake. It will look like a Pinterest bell. That's a good idea, too, about putting it in the fridge because the ones the ones that I've been 
working with and making are not um, 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 that's why because I want my icing to be able to work in anybody's kitchen so I tried not to use as much butter or anything really thin um, because people's kitchens it's going to travel well because of the time of the year it is but people's kitchens are different temperatures and then you're going to have kids messing with it and I just don't want it melting away in their hand Done. Yes, so that is what I'm using. Um, let's see. Christina, that sounds good using chips for those extra lazy days. Christina says she's an artist. Best stick figures you ever saw and perfected two roses and a cap. See, I, I might could do some straight lines if I if I tried. Hey, Heidi. To practice, you can use a Crisco powdered sugar and water recipe. It's firmer and it's more like a bakery icing. So that's what I'm doing. Um, half It's most Crisco, little butter, powdered sugar, vanilla flavor. So it's definitely not, um, it's not super sweet either, which is a good thing. Um, and it's actually just a really good... You don't feel like you're getting a sugar rush from it. And so that has worked really well. Um, this go around, which is what you saw there. So when it's at room temperature, it's pliable, but it's not melting. I put them in the fridge, they firm up and it don't take them long to come back, you know, down to room temperature. A cat. That makes sense. <laughs> I might can do some stick figures. <laughs> now I can do chocolate. You know what I do is... I can mix chocolate and put it in the refrigerator and make it hard and you'll have a chocolate bark. I took some leftover white chocolate. I took some leftover white chocolate and I crushed up some peanut butter cho and chocolate Chex Mix and some little marshmallows, mixed it all together, sm smoothed it out on some parchment paper and put it in the fridge and made me some bark. I do that. I'm always trying to figure out ways to use what I got. Miss Julie said it'd take a little time, but if you have the desire to draw, you can learn to draw. <sighs> nah, I don't. Now, my sister, that's exactly what she did, is she practiced all the time, and she is a great artist. Um, I don't have that desire. I don't. I'm all about food, just to be honest. I'm all about the food. I, I, um, I don't know. I'm just, my sister's real artsy. Mackenzie's the same way. She's very artsy. She's always trying um, to make stuff. She's thinking about stuff, color and writing. She loves to color. I love to color. Like, I have a big, massive tote of just coloring stuff. Markers and pens and paint and coloring books. But I like somebody else to draw the figure for me and let me fill let me fill in the Fill in the blanks. All right, our hamburger meat's done. Our banana bread is done. Woo, woo, woo. That's a good looking banana bread. Look at that banana bread right there. That's good stuff. 
Mmm, that smells so good. We need to make sure it's done enough before we get too far into it. Let's go a hair longer. Let's go just a little bit longer. I don't know about that. Just yet. All right, so we've got, I'm going to put my pot right over here. Let's see. Heidi said she used to do ice cream cakes and make roses by hand for them, but she can't anymore, but she's gotten good at, at soury bread. Is that what that says? You can trace picks with non-toxic food approval, approved markers, and then either paint or pipe the color piping gel. Hmm, that's a good, that's, that's a good idea. Sourdough, gotcha. That's what I thought you meant. Mackenzie can do the drawing and I can fill it in. Yeah, that'd be really cool. I love to color. I love to color. Don't have a lot of time. And you know something else I really like to do? If you um, like putting together puzzles and all, I grew up with us always having a card table in our living room with a puzzle on it and we would work on it in the evenings with my parents is the diamond um, paintings. It's tedious, but I loved, I did one and it was beautiful and I love doing those diamond puzzles, the diamond painting or whatever. You place these little bitty tiny diamonds with tweezers and make a, make a picture. You know, we used to, growing up, the rug, um, the hook and latch. I used to love doing the hook and latch. So, I like that kind of stuff. I love to cross stitch. Um, I've cross stitched for a long time. I haven't done it in a while, but I've done it for a long time. And I like that kind of stuff. Okay. So, I've got noodles. We're going to give them a little stirry, stirry, stir. Penne noodles. Penne noodles. Chris said they don't buy magazines, but it was in a grocery store about 10 years ago and saw a banana bread recipe in Southern Living. Bought the magazine just for the recipe. Hey, I love banana bread. I grew up with a grandmother who baked all the time. She was my sweet grandmother. She was from Wisconsin. And she did all of the baking. I had another grandma. My other grandmother loved vegetables. So I had one grandmother who did vegetables, one grandmother who did the sweets, and naturally I took after the sweets. And um, she's still, to this day, she still tries to bake. She's 90 years old. So what I just did is I poured a little bit of heavy cream in here just to get out some of that extra sauce that was still down in there. So I'm pour in our other jar. So all I've got is some boiled penne noodles, a jar of spaghetti sauce. This is a jar of Alfredo. Let's put just a tad of water. We're going to get all that goodness out of there. She is 90. My grandmother is a deaf lady. I came from a family of deaf people. Um, I, both my grandparents were deaf, and she's still alive. She was the youngest of six, and they all have lived to be, they all lived for a long time, and she's actually the last one, but she, her brother just passed away last year, I believe, and so we, uh, we're pretty fortunate to have my, my grandmother still around. But she has, 
taught me most of everything I know about cooking. Yes, Julie, I saw where the groundhog saw his shadow. I was not real excited to, to say the least. So I'm going to go ahead and mix in my hamburger meat. So we've got one pound of the penne pasta, boiled and drained. We have a jar of marinara, a marinara or spaghetti sauce. I have spaghetti sauce because that's what I had. And then a jar of Parmesan. This is roasted garlic Parmesan Alfredo. So a jar of Alfredo. I poured a little bit of water in there to get out the rest. And then I have two pounds of hamburger meat, but you only have to have one if you want meat. You don't have to do meat at all. So this could potentially be ready. It just needs to be heated up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a casserole dish. I actually was going to line it with some full and then spray it, but I opened up the drawer and realized that I have saran wrap and not full. So it is pink. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's definitely pink. Oh, and I'll tell you what else I have in my mind. Y'all, I'm always thinking about <laughs> what I can make to sell because if I make it to eat it, I'm going to gain all my weight back. So I make stuff to sell. But let me finish this one thing at a time. So let me turn it down so y'all can see. So here we are. We have pasta. So we're gonna I'm just smoothing it out a little bit. I'm gonna put mozzarella on top. I don't know. Y'all probably hear Rick's TV in there. All right. So I'm going to put a little pepper and salt on top. And Ta da! So that's ready. Oh, and my, and my banana bread is ready to come out. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Look at that, beauty. So we're going to go ahead and stick this in the oven. Three About 25 minutes. That's what we're going to do with that. Christina says, your sauce is so versatile, you can omit the beef and just add shrimp. Add an herb for contrast color. Yes, I'm going to actually going to put um, some parsley on the top once it comes out to give it that green fresh. Um, I didn't know about adding it while it's baking. So we're just going to let that go. Get our table clean back up. Alright, boys. Thanks for the weekend. 
All right, so that's a that's kind of we'll see. Yeah, so I would also I would like to do shrimp. I haven't bought shrimp because I'd like to get fresh shrimp, and I just haven't went. We have a local market that does all the fresh um, seafoods and meats. And they have the best ribeye steaks, but I just haven't went in there. I'm trying to budget my meals. Um, there's five of us, and so what I've been trying to do is to spend... We buy bulk meat from Calfee cattle. So we buy half a cow, quarter hog. I think that's what we do. So I try to keep my weekly budget for our family's meals and some of our extras like toiletries and things like that uh, at $100 or less a week. That's what I, I, I aim at. That'll include your paper towels. That includes our, um, you know, toilet paper, shampoos, body wash, dish soap, um, any of those things. I try to keep every Monday. I get groceries and do all that. And so what I do is I go to the freezer. I look in there and I say, okay, we've got X, Y, Z. Um, I don't want to overdo the same meats twice in a week. So... Like we did turkey, we did turkey um, the other day on here, uh, whatever day that was, Tuesday I think, Monday or Tuesday, we did turkey then, but I'm going to do some turkey burgers again at the end of the week, well the end of the week is tomorrow, so probably tomorrow um, or Saturday, let's see. Um, turkey burgers with cheese and bacon and roasted Brussels sprouts and a side of like rice serrani pasta or something like that is my plan. I have a loose plan. I keep it on my phone and that's what I go by as I cook them. I mark it off. We had church yesterday so we did hot dogs and chips. Something simple and easy. Um, another really good meal that's kid friendly and real affordable is we do you cook hamburger meat with an onion and you make macaroni and cheese you mix them together make a pan of cornbread good to go add you a salad i have not used low fat ricotta i just went off on that rant not rant but i went off in left field on that conversation because what i do is i have been buying ravioli frozen ravioli and you mix your same sauces, um, like a spaghetti type sauce or a marinara. Mix it with your ricotta and some mozzarella and a little bit of Parmesan. See, I can't do less calories because I like putting all this stuff in it. But you layer it. You layer your frozen ravioli, your meat, cheese, or your cheese mixture, meat, sauce, just layer it and then you bake it and it's a lazy man lasagna we love shrimp i love love shrimp i just i don't want to pay the price for shrimp you know maybe if i she said that's a blessing doing your own meats we had chicken often three times a week yeah see my chickens are all whole, so we actually don't eat a lot of chicken unless I decide I'm going to thaw it out and cook a whole chicken, and then what's left after that, I take and we repurpose it into other meals, which we do periodically. It's just a process of thawing out an entire chicken. Julie said they are lucky they can go down to the bayou and get an ice chest of shrimp for $50. I would love that. It is crawfish season. A sack for 80, it's high, but we'll be 25 at the end of the season. Yeah, I like, um, we like crawfish too. It's, uh, it's something that we don't do very often, but we do enjoy doing it. Cottage cheese, as your mom didn't like the texture of ricotta. They're pretty similar though. I think ricotta to me is a little more congealed than cottage cheese. 
but yes i have and i do try to do low fat um you know sour creams and the the cheeses like mozzarella and milks and all when i can unless the you know and unless it calls for something different let's see So what are you guys going to be doing yourself for dinner? Christina says she liked lower calorie cottage cheese, add white cheddar, bacon, fat. <laughs> oh, white cheddar. Yeah, big fat. Yeah. We, I, I guess I pick and choose. Like, I, I just like full fat, but... I can take it if it's mixed in with something. I'm on this. I love crackers right now. I just like cheese crackers. So I keep making it over and over. Because I just love cheese crackers. <laughs> I, I love cheese period. So I could substitute. I could skimp on other stuff. To be able to have. You know full fat cheese stuff. Meatloaf sounds delicious. It's a cool night. I bet that would be. That's going to be a good meal. Let's see. So I have a roast in the freezer. How how do you guys cook your roasts? I um I know there's the traditional roast in the crock pot with the vegetables. Um Judy Lee said, do I ever make shrimp spaghetti? You make a tomato sauce with Zataran seafood seasoning and add boiled shrimp instead of ground beef. I have not. I don't cook with shrimp very often unless I'm making shrimp and grits, which is something I really want to do. I might do that next week. Um, well, that does sound really good. I really, I love shrimp. Now, Brett, on the other hand, he's not a fan of shrimp. He, um, I got him to eat crab, and he really liked crab, but he is not a fan of shrimp. Um, but he likes crab claws. He likes crab meat. He will do any, uh, any, he tries anything, but he just, he's not a fan. He loves steak. Of course he does. What four-year-old don't love steak? <laughs> but, um, I enjoy making meals with shrimp, and that's typically what I will get if we go go somewhere to eat miss maggie you need tomato soup and a grilled cheese because it's easy and it's delicious i hope you're feeling okay the surgery is no joke no matter no matter what kind of surgery it is so i wanted to let I still got a few minutes to go. Roast with Kathy prefers roast with vegetables in the oven after browning the meat. She does not like crock pot roast. Okay. Vegetables in the oven. So you just put it on a sheet pan and put it all in there and put it in the oven. Chris said the fried roll up my egg rolls, they were delicious. Um I do think I could have I think it needed a sprinkling of sugar and maybe a little more seasoned salt. That's the only thing I would have changed. Christina said brown it in a cast iron, add garlic, onions, and garlic, and layer the vegetables. Okay. So you put, put your roast on top of your vegetables and then put onions on top and around. Let's, let's see if there's does anybody I know this is crazy but does anybody want to jump on here with me um, if not we're perfectly fine I'm just talking to myself and y'all here but if somebody wants to jump on with me on your on your video we'll we'll all chat together 
I like, I love caramelized vegetables. We actually do a lot of caramelized onions anyway. Um, we do that with a lot of meals, is adding the caramelized onions to stuff. Um, hamburgers, a lot of your meats, steaks. I really wish this rain would go away. It is making making a big mess of everything. I can see my, my chickens out in the yard through the back window out there and it's just it's just a mess right now. It does elevate the meal. It gives it a depth and a, a, a richer flavor than not taking the time to do that. It takes a little bit of extra steps, but I mean, my goodness, if you're already doing it, you might as well do a little bit more. Julie said she's doing it the lazy way. You season it with Tony's seasoning, brown on each side for four minutes. Throw it in the pressure cooker with one cup of onion, celery, bell peppers, and garlic. A half a cup of veggie stock for 45 minutes. See, I don't have a pressure cooker. I am scared to death of a pressure cooker. Miss Ursula said she will get on with me so let me see how i can do that i'm looking You're, you're hungry? I'm hungry still. Mom, I'm hungry still. Miss Ursula, I'm going to see how I can get you Mom, with I'm me. I'm hungry still. Mom, I'm hungry still. Mom, I'm hungry still. You're hungry still? Let me see. Miss Ursula, I am trying to figure out how I can get you in here with me. I see how my people do it all the time. Miss Ursula, send me an email at that email address, and I'm going to send you a link that's going to let you join me. If it don't work out, we'll figure it out next time, because I have done it with Cassie over at uh, Walker Farm Fam. So you brown a roast in aluminum roasting pan. Add potatoes, button mushrooms, baby carrots, and water. Bring to a bowl and then turn it down or off and leave covered. Wow. Hmm. Christina, I want to try it and do the Berea tacos with a roast. I would like to try that. I, I, I like bold flavors, too. I'm just I'm scared of trying new stuff. I love to try new stuff. I'm just scared of trying new stuff. Yeah, the hissing sound, Chris, that's, that's my thing. I, it makes me nervous. I don't need it to explode, much less. Okay, Miss Dawn, I'll see you. I'll talk with you soon. Um, we're, uh, I'm just going to wait on this casserole to, to come out, and then I'm, I'll probably jump off myself in a little bit. Let me see if Miss Ursula is able to get me an email sent. Season. Oh, you asked about my refrigerator. So, 
This is a Samsung. We have had a different brand before as well. Um, and we've also had it without the middle drawer. We use that as our drink drawer. We keep our bottled drinks in there. Um, and it's got a divider that slides around. And I love it. I love our Samsung. Okay. She sent me an email. Let me get here. And I'll send you a link back. And it should allow you to click on it. There we go. All right, Miss Ursula, I have sent you an email back. That link should let you click click it and get here. Let me know if it don't. But, yes, I love this refrigerator. Um, lots of room. The shelves are giant, and you can have wide open. You can Some of the shelves slide in and out. But we had one before this that Nick had for a long time before I met him and we upgraded to this one and I have no complaints I just it's it's fabulous the drawer in the bottom has a top a top sliding drawer and then the bottom is a big deep drawer there's Miss Ursula there you are Hi. Let's see. We can see you, Ursula. Can you see everything that I can see? Yes. Hi. Ah, it's so nice to meet you. Hi. Are you doing okay today? I am. Good. Good. We, uh, are you having a, a, a gross day as well? Well, we've got, uh, we started out with fog and then it started snowing on top of all the ice we got from the Chinook we had. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, we had 45 degree weather um, last week and um, all the all the snow started melting and we had rain on top of it. And then it then it froze. Now we, oh, we have well let's see. We have uh well do we have 25 degree weather right now. Yeah, and it's all frozen, and and now we have uh, snow on top of it, all the ice, and so oh, it's real gosh. slippery out. And um, they're talking about um, uh, having uh, problems with the bus drivers. Um, some of them don't want to drive the buses because some of them don't have heat. So right. kids are, yeah. And um, so kids aren't going to school because there's no um, bus drivers for them, uh, especially out in the valley, um, out of just outside of Anchorage. Um, uh, those are the bus drivers are, are, that are having um, the most trouble because um, uh, there's a lot of hills uh, that they have to go up and down. That's a lot and, of factors um, in play, isn't it? Yeah, and then there's a lot of moose out there, and the kids are um, fall slipping and falling, and and um, and it's just a, a bunch of trouble, and people are driving crazy and um, uh, not paying attention to what they're doing, and and so. It's kind of scary, and and parents are now having to drive their kids to school, and there's big long lines that are going out into the road and causing traffic problems, and just a bunch of mess. Yeah, it is. That's just ugh. yeah. And I made that um, new fudge, the caramel. Yeah. I took white chocolate and um. Uh, sweetened condensed milk and I had made um, some caramel with sweetened condensed milk. I took a can of uh, sweetened condensed milk and put it in uh, uh, just um, low boiling water for three and a half hours and and when I opened the can that had had uh, soft caramel 
and then I took that so top you, caramel. Let me ask you about that. Do you just make sure you keep the top covered with water? Yeah, I keep the top top covered, and uh -huh. then you have to keep the um the water uh, over the can. You you have to make sure it's completely covered, and you keep it uh, at a low boil, and you you keep it at a low boil for three and a half hours. And you have this perfect caramel that um, you can use uh, as a topping for ice cream or but I I took the I took two bags uh, uh, 12 ounce bags of, um, of uh, white chocolate chips yeah and uh, uh, one can of the um, sweet condensed milk and then the uh, can of caramel and I took some out to, to mix over the um the uh some of the pecans that i chopped yes. up and i put some of the pecans i chopped up in um the uh the fudge and um so what i did is i uh took the well i took the sweet condensed milk and put it over the white chocolate chip and the uh and what I have left of the um, of the caramel, and I put it in the, with the chocolate, uh, white chocolate chips, and the sweetened condensed milk, and I mixed it up, and I put it in the microwave for 30 second intervals, and I and I pulled it out, and I mixed it up, and I kept on putting it back and forth, in and out, until it was melted, and then I took the pecans I wanted in it, and and mixed it in. And then I um, then I poured it in my um, pan with uh, uh, parchment paper so uh -huh. I could get it out of the pan. And um, and and I I put I had that already ahead of time so that I, right. because so I wanted to make wait. sure to pour it in. And then I took the pecans that I had put some caramel i mixed the caramel in it and i spread it over the top and uh, i had took a few of the um white chocolate chips and mixed um uh, some uh uh hershey's cocoa in it and and some butter and yeah. uh, melted that um in the microwave and uh made uh, the chocolate and yeah. i uh, uh but I had spread the uh, pecans with the caramel over the top of the fudge, and and I kind of pressed it down in it a little bit, and then I spread the um, that chocolate uh, topping over the top of that, and then I stuck it in the freezer, and it's so good. That sounds delicious, man. It is. I think, let me check this. I think it's about ready. Let's see. Oh, yes. Let's see. And this is Lily. This is my dog, Lily. She had to come up here and see, see, um, see who I was talking to. So there oh, is that her. looks so good. It's cheesy and going to be delicious. All right. So I have dinner ready for tonight. All I have to do is add in some garlic bread. Hey, Lily. Hey, Lily. Bandit, my dog Bandit is going to, he'll come running if he, I have the fence up so that he don't come in here. He'll come running if he hears me talking. He does the same thing, though, when we do our lives at night when Nick's with me. He's trying to get up under the table to get to me because he thinks I'm talking to him. Uh, the, um, the, um, that, uh, uh, pistachio, uh, cranberry, um, that I make, um, that's uh, kind of sort of mu uh, much easier because, um, uh, the only hard part is, um, since I don't have anything to chop anything up, I do uh, chopping by uh, cutting by hand. I take a knife and I cut up the pistachios and the cranberries by hand. Yeah. But I can get them small enough 
that it makes it so that every bite has uh, uh, enough in it. Yeah. Uh, but um, I do the white chocolate and uh, one 12 ounces to um, the 14 ounces of uh, uh, sweetened condensed milk and I melt it. And then I uh, add um, uh, a drop of lemon, uh, a half a teaspoon of uh, almond, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring uh, 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 in it. Yeah. Um, and um, and I mix that in, and then I uh, take um, the. Um, the rice i take rice krispies pistachios and um cranberries and i mix all that in together uh-huh and um it's the best it's that the best. sounds delicious that's right up my chocolate uh pistachio cranberry fudge ever uh, yeah. my friend wants me to make a um a video yeah uh, of making it so that i can show everybody but well, you should, so uh, you should it send me so the recipe, your step by steps, and I'll try uh -huh. and I'll try and make some on here, and okay, something we can try to do on here, and we can, I can get you back on here with me and talk me through it while I I'll get all my we'll plan it. How about that? We okay, that sounds good. And that way that I can make good. it on a video and right. Um, you can have maybe you can have things ready have the uh, possessions already cut up and the yep. cranberries already cut up yep um, but, what um what's important is is when you cut up uh the cranberries you want to have the pistachios cut up first uh and then put uh the cranberries cut up into it and stir it around so that the cranberries get covered up by the little that's flakes small. of pistachios oh, so um because then they, they don't stick together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, we can, I have a food processor, but I hardly ever drag it out because then you got to wash it. So I put it in, yeah. put all my stuff in baggies and hit it. I let, like, I'll let the kids hit it with a rolling pin or um, like an ice cream scoop. And let the kids go to town whopping at, at our nuts and that way they can get them all broke up and. Yeah, we'll do yeah. that. So what I'll get you to do is send me that email with everything that I'll need. And I'll try to go ahead and we might try to do that at the end of next week or so. Okay, that sounds really good. Um, I'm sure you're, you'll fall in love with that. Um, oh, man. I, it'll be, I, be like your favorite thing to make. Of I fudge. probably will. Uh, because my friend, my friend already wants to make it. She, yes. she does. She wants to make she says, this will be the only fudge I'll ever make. That's right. And um, and so, because she says, says it's the best. It's the best fudge I've ever eaten. So, I, I can imagine. I love pistachios and I love white chocolate. And I always like the yogurt covered um, cranberries. So, I, uh, yeah, it's, it's just dried the, the uh, craisins, the, the uh -huh. call them yeah. craisins. Right. Yeah, they're dried cranberries. Yep. That sounds good. We'll do that. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up, you guys. We're gonna I got I gotta finish making some banana bread. I got lots of bananas I gotta use up today. So I'm gonna go and make some banana yeah, bread. Yeah, I need to use some bananas uh, too. <laughs> woo, I'm gonna I think I'm about to do a coconut banana bread with some coconut flakes. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, thank you so much, Ursula, for coming and hanging out with me. And I'm looking forward well, to Well, I'd love to do it again because I, uh, I, I really like you. Uh, oh, thank you. I, I do. I, I just feel like you're just my best friend, you know? Yep, that's what I, and I like having I, you guys I, I the table with you. Live. I I do, I, I follow, I fall asleep here, and I, I've missed you, and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I'm well, upset with myself. And, and I think that's the fun like, part of doing it. my friend. <laughs> that's right, that's the fun part of doing it when, during the day, is we're in no hurry. We don't have an agenda, except we're going to cook some dinner and just sit at the table together. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm just a just old just disabled old lady here and just with my uh my dog and um we just at home all the time. We don't go any place. I order my food uh on the internet and, uh -huh. and I have yep. people that pick my food up and bring it to me and yep. uh you know, whatever else I need and um or my son does it, my son picks it up for me or you know, they pick up my mail for me and bring it over. And um, my neighbor even takes my trash out to the street for yeah. me. And, well, um, you the community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't do anything. I stay in my house all the time. And, you know, uh, my, my people are on, on the channel that on... Uh, YouTube and Facebook. That's right. Hey, I get it. Um, um, I run a farm and we hang out with our YouTubers, our YouTube and our Facebook family. That's just, that's how it is, you know? And well, it reminds me of when, when I was in my, uh, my twenties and, um, I had a little baby, um, uh -huh. uh, it, you know, in, in 1982 and, um, I had goats and I milked them and, and, um, I gave my baby goat's milk cause he couldn't, uh, have formula when he decided uh -huh. he didn't want to breastfeed anymore. And, That's right. <laughs> and, uh, and so I had, I took care of my goats at 50 below and, and broke water and and uh, you, you understand all the things that we go through i, I, I did all the things that you guys did but at the at the worst temperature and delta oh, junction yeah. i could not imagine i could not imagine yeah. i think you know, we're, we're very but I was, at least i was young <laughs> that's right that's right all right young 22 Mr. year old in huh? the, in in the in a small town of just 3,000 people. <laughs> oh, goodness. That is a small area. Yeah. I, I chopped wood and, and had an outhouse. and. <laughs> That's right. And I carried water to the house and from the well house. And it was. It was a it was a big job to be living in, in there in a cabin in the woods. <laughs> well, Nick would do it in a heartbeat. I'm just not going with him. <laughs> yeah, I loved it though. It was it was nice, you know. Um, I didn't have TV. I had a radio. Uh huh. And I would listen to the um radio with the uh, um from there was one one station i could get and and they would read books over the radio uh -huh. and and i listened to uh jeanette oakey reading uh love comes softly and uh, uh the the that series of books and uh chronicles of narnia and stuff like uh -huh. that it was yeah and um my baby would we would listen to it together <laughs> well that's pretty awesome hey red come here come here red yeah come here you miss oh i want to say hi to rick yeah come here one second come here one second i want to say hi to rick yeah she wants to tell you hi come here this is miss hi rick Hi. Hi, and her dog Lily. Say hi, hey, Lily. Say hi, hey, Lily. Hey, Lily. That's Rick. Hey, Lily. Miss Ursula and Lily like watching you. Yeah. So you have done so good. So that means you get to go to the Dollar Tree and get you a prize because you were so good today. MC said, "Have fun at the Dollar Tree for Rick. Yeah. <laughs> all right tell miss ursula we're gonna go we gotta go to the dollar tree okay tell her. you have a good time okay okay tell her we'll okay, see bye. you tell her bye 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 miss ursula bye oh. all right you
you guys. We will see y'all on the next video. We will try to do this again at the beginning of next week. Come see you later. See you later.